So this is a good thing to look for too. Whenever you're working with your dog, notice how Boots, his tongue's hanging out and he's like, <laughs> that means he's getting a little tired. We've been out here, it's a little warmer in Texas. He has a nice fur coat on. So we would not be doing a training session right now because he's gonna be sloppy. He's gonna try to find the shortest way to get to these things. And we don't want our dog to know that you don't do it 100 miles an hour. Whenever you are working with your dog, make sure they are engaged, make sure they are having fun, and make sure they are doing it with that speed and intensity that you would like. And you mark those behaviors. And that's how the dog learns to be there. Do not work with your dog when they're distracted. Do not work with your dog when they're exhausted, when they're bored. If there's something else that they'd rather be doing, because you're gonna devalue your commands, and those devalue commands can have you to lose a dog. Remember, all of these things we're doing is to keep your dog safe. Yes, it's cool to compete with your dog. Yes, it's cool to do all this stuff with your dog. But the most, the coolest part, the coolest thing is being able to keep your dog safe. So stay tuned, stay sharp, take care of your dog.